Welcome. Today we'll be making air fryer weeknight beef chimichangas. I'm Chef Anthony and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. So let's begin with our filling for our chimichangas. So we're gonna start with fully cooked pot roast. And this has been reheated according to package directions. And we're going to shred that up just a little bit. We also strained some of the excess gravy off of it so our filling isn't so wet, okay? Then we're going to add some Spanish style rice, which has also been heated according to package directions. And we also have diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now, this has also been strained for the same reason. We'll give that a good mix. And then we're going to set that aside. I'm going to grab our air fryer, along with some other ingredients to build our chimichangas. So we're going to start by lining our air fryer basket with some non-stick aluminum foil. This is going to keep the food from sticking to the air fryer, and it also makes for easy cleanup. So once you have your basket lined, you want to put it in the air fryer, and we're gonna set the temperature for 400 degrees. And we want this to preheat and get nice and hot before we start cooking our chimichangas. Now I took these tortillas and put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That's really important because it makes them more pliable and easy to roll without cracking. We're going to take some queso blanco dip and just spread a little bit right across the center of the tortilla. And we're using a Southwest style corn blend. Put that right in there as well. We'll take a three cheese Mexican blend, put a little bit of that right on top. And then we'll take our beef and rice and tomato filling and we're gonna set that right on top. Now, as much as you might think that this isn't going to be enough, you don't want to overstuff this because you don't want them breaking open. So now we'll take the bottom of our tortilla and fold it over the top. We'll bring the sides in, and then we'll finish it just by rolling it forward. We're gonna set this aside and build another one now. By the time we finish rolling all of these chimichangas, our air fryer should be just ready to start frying these off. So now that we have all of our chimichangas built, we're going to put them in the air fryer. So we'll take our air fryer. We have our nonstick foil, which is great for a recipe like this, and you want to take them. And for this size air fryer, we can only accommodate two chimichangas. And we want a good amount of airflow around it to get that nice crispy crust. The butter that we're going to brush on top will also enhance that crust by giving it that fried feeling. So we'll put that in there. We set it for about four to five minutes and we're gonna let it cook. So these are just about ready to flip. You can see this beautiful crispy crust on the outside and just Gently flip them over so you don't open them up. We're going to cook these for another four to five minutes to get that crust on the underside now. So the whole idea of an air fryer is to circulate that air evenly around the food that you're cooking. So just like submerging something in hot fryer oil, you're going to get that heat from all sides forming a nice crispy crust. But this way, we're not using all of that oil. Just that little touch of butter on top will be enough to give it the crust we're looking for. So now these have cooked completely on both sides and we're going to remove them from the air fryer. Look at that, beautiful crispy crust on both sides. And now we're going to repeat that process. We'll take two more, put them in there. Be careful because your air fryer basket is hot. Make sure they're on top of that aluminum foil. 
Brush them lightly with butter. Put that basket back in. And we'll repeat this process until all of these are cooked. So now that they're all finished, I'm gonna let them cool a bit and I'm gonna go grab a plate and I'll be right back. So now that these are complete, it's ready to taste them. So I'm gonna cut that in half. Oh, listen to that crunch. You can see all the cheese is melted inside. My favorite way to eat these is with some condiments. So over here I have a little bit of sour cream. We'll put some hot salsa on there and some guacamole. Now it's time. So you can taste all those flavors in one bite. You have that tender pot roast, the sweet corn, and that stringy cheese in there all coming together. And then that nice crunch of the flour tortilla on the outside just gives it some great texture. And with this recipe, you can satisfy your weeknight cravings in no time. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you for joining us.